Hi everyone, and after a long break, welcome back to Gasbeard's Battles. It's Wednesday, it's World of Warships, and today we say bye bye to the Bayern, the tier 6 German battleship, and we say good day, good night now, the tier 7, which I've just ground out with a mammoth Bayern session in order to take part in this current season of ranked battles. What shall we do? Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit longer than normal with two epic battles as we say goodbye to uh, bye bye to the Bayern. And this first one, which was the second last battle in the Bayern, was a nice matchmaking. The Bayern at tier 6 is middle tier. And you're going to see some tactics in this that you may not dis that you may not agree with. Um, a couple of times in the battle I'm going to try to make the enemy players believe that I'm a noob, that I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, and I'll explain those as we get to them. So initially, I've thought, right, let's go down, let's um, either deny or capture uh, the alpha point, and our Mutsukis had the same idea. I did initially think that a couple of our cruisers were heading that way, but 30 seconds into the battle it became apparent that that wasn't going to happen. If you look carefully at the minimap you'll see that they've all gone to the other side so at this point I thought I'm not going to defend that one side on my own. Even with the Mutsuki up there it's not going to be enough of us to deny a push coming round that west side of the islands. So I've started turning back, I've shouted to the Mutsuki to look at the minimap and make his own decision. Does he want to continue on or does he want to come back with me? And it's round about now that I realise that a bunch of our ships are going to try and go through this, the centre passage, which at this stage of the game is just stupidity. And I know that Jingles likes to, to say that if it's stupid but it works, it's not stupid. And he has shown a few videos uh, in the past as to why it should never be done at this point in the game and the chat lights up with a number of people discussing this point and various bits of saltiness and name calling going on but it's all in relative good humor meanwhile a nicer now is, uh, has been lit up by the Matsuki starting to poke his nose round the west side of the islands there's also an enemy destroyer down there somewhere because his torpedoes have just come up in a wide spread trying to take out the Mutsuki who was stopping him from capping. And I'm just slowing down a bit, half speed here, heading back towards our um, starting camp at Charlie so that I can get some shots out at these enemy heavies that are coming round the islands. My first customer is the nicer now and I fire some shots out at him, I get a bounce which is not very satisfactory for me obviously and then the Colorado turns up and the Colorado is a tier 7, he's got heavier army, heavier armor than me, heavier guns than me and I'm not going to hang around and fight against him but I'm just slowing down further to try and get some more shots at those lead ships and try to make them all slow down Meanwhile, surprisingly, our ships that went through the centre channel have scored a first victory and 
it's not the only one that they get in that channel, although it does leave us somewhat weakened, but it leaves the enemy a little bit more weakened than us because they sent three destroyers straight through that channel. So, early hits on the nicer now. Got me a few thousand points of damage, but not much. And I'm just waiting for the Alba and the Colorado to get a bit further across before I hit the throttle and scoot across this open channel and that's when they hit me with a citadel and I have a strong suspicion and I've watched this replay time after time after time to try and identify exactly where they hit me but I have a strong suspicion that that was a hit in the magazine however signal flags and all that stuff and captain skills and uh, module skills, upgrades, all that stuff. I was lucky to get away with no detonation on the magazine. Otherwise it would have been a, an HMS Hood type incident. And that would have been me out the battle at the very start of it. So now that Colorado's got my range and he's starting to throw salvo after salvo at me, supported by the nice now. I'm not too happy about. So, while I'm trying to get my shots off back at the, the Colorado to tell him to back off, I'm scuttling across to join the rest of our fleet. And that Mutsuki was a little star. He stayed behind me all the way through this segment of the game, keeping the enemy destroyer off me, not allowing him the chance to get torpedoes at me. Although, as you can see on the screen, I was um, twisting and weaving. Partly to throw off any torpedo aiming, but also to throw off the shells coming in from those two tier 7 battleships. And, remember, I'm just in a tier 6. I don't think anyone could justifiably blame me for skedaddling out of there. No support, except for that destroyer. I wasn't going to stay behind to take on two tier 7 battleships, a tier 6 cruiser and a tier 6 premium destroyer, especially one as deadly as the kamikaze. So I'm making use of uh, the opportunity to throw some shells at the kamikaze. My first salvo missed him, but it probably made him break his concentration on trying to get our Motsuki and gave him a breather, so returning the favour a little bit there in a way. And as I turn the ship to get the forward turrets on him and throw four of those big old shells at him, I do manage to get a hit, but it's an over-penetration and it only does a thousand damage, which is not surprising considering I was loaded for, for bear or tier 7 battleships in this case. And the armor piercing was never going to successfully citadel him and hit his engine and explode properly. So the the Alba, the Nice now, and the Colorado are still pursuing me. They haven't seen the Mutsuki as yet, and now that that Kamikaze is out of spotting range of the Mutsuki, he's not spotted either. And finally, some support arrives. Our Colorado comes across. And in short shift after him, another couple of ships come across. The Budyoni, who should have been over here helping us out against that destroyer, has pressed on Let's to get into fire. Delta. Now, there. I've just used my um, damage control party to put that fire out. It was a single fire. The philosophy is that a single fire on a battleship doesn't do much damage, let it burn itself out because the damage is 100% recoverable when you use the damage repair party. However, I'm in a tier 6, I've got two tier 7 battleships and a tier 6 cruiser on my tail and that Colorado's under pressure, he's losing health rapidly now. I wanted the the enemies chasing us to think that I was a bit of a noob. Unfortunately they didn't fall for it and the Colorado's just discovered that that kamikaze arm is still there on the edge of the cap circle and he 
he's going to get pounded for it very, very soon. So while I'm still trying to put distance between the battleships and me, I'm still putting shells back at them, taking advantage of the fact that they're focusing on the Colorado, and in comes a, another one of our battleships, another tier 7, the nice and out. So now it's Colorado versus Colorado, and a nice and out versus a nice and out, with a Mutsuki and a Kamikaze on opposite sides in the fray as well, leaving the Auba as the spare ship. And suddenly, the Colorado's gone, the Auba's gone. And here comes our cruisers and another nicer now from our side. This should um, enable them to clear that side up quite nicely. I'm looking at the minimap and Delta looks clear, but coming through the center channel, there's a Scharnhorst, which is the sister ship to the nicer now, obviously, another tier seven battleship. So it's all getting very heavy over here. And I'm just in a little tier six battleship, so I decide that the nice now showing me as broadside like that and possibly not recognizing that I'm here needs punishing. And put a salvo across at him, start turning to avoid any focus fire coming in from him. And just a, a peep at the minimap shows me that the balance of the enemy fleet is now pressuring on Delta. We still have um, a destroyer and a battleship down there, but our battleship down there is pretty badly mauled. He's not going to last very long. So, going through my head at this point, should I be in Delta helping out there, or should I be helping relieve the pressure on Charlie? That Scharnhorst still pushing in on a suicide charge. We're down to one ship now, one nicer now, in Charlie, with the destroyer off in the extreme southwest. That's the Mutsuki, doing what he does best, staying out of spotting range and harassing the, the Colorado. However, as the, the enemy Scharnhorst goes down, I've got my turrets in the right position to start um, shooting at the Graf Spey, who is trying to take Delta. I've hit him with one salvo. I'm getting another well, half salvo it was. I've got another half salvo off at him. Again, hit him. And this time, I'm going to make use of the island to get in a better position. And with the Colorado completely tied up by our Mutsuki there and still having another ship uh, the nicer now between me and the other enemy ship at Charlie I can focus on this Graf Spey and again I'm trying to sucker him here I'm showing my broadside to try to get him to charge at me and punish me He's angled to me, so that salvo, although it did some nice damage, it didn't do what it could have done. The Bayern has decided to start focusing me. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself, OK, I've got a Colorado and an Alba behind me. I've got a Graf Spey and a Bayern in front of me. If I'm going to do anything worthwhile for the rest of this battle, then I need to get some land between myself and the ships that are off on my port side. So I start charging down the side of the island uh, towards the Bayern, manage to citadel the, the Graf Spey. Remember, it's just got cruiser armour, it doesn't have battleship armour, even though it's got battleship guns. And I'm very fortunate to take him out. And I start opening fire at the Bayern, making full speed building up to full speed to get down that channel as far as I can and put the island between myself and the cruiser and battleship on my left side. And it's just at this point that suddenly the other battleship on our team gets taken down. Must have been a citadel hit from the Bayern. And when I look round, our battleship was beached and therefore would have been a very easy target. Now the Bayern up ahead doesn't know me. 
He's never seen me fight. And I'd like to make him think that I'm a noob. Because we're coming into a situation that I've fought many times, both in the Bayern and in the two ships before her at tier 5 and 4, where I get in close and we circle each other like two boxers in a boxing ring. I don't know what his skills are for that, but the more I can make him overconfident, the better it'll be. So my secondaries are opening up, his will be opening up this is where fires are going to become critical. So there's a fire kick so And... There's a fire on him. I extinguish my fire using the damage control party. Again, there was only one fire. But with him seeing me put that fire out so quick, he's probably thinking, ah, this guy's a noob. I'll close in and I'll kill him off with broadsides and stuff. And we circle each other here. Presenting broadside to broadside, more or less. But I know he's recently fired, and he fired all eight guns, whereas I've been firing them as four and four. And I'm desperately trying to get my turrets round, and at this point, a noob would continue circling. But instead, I straighten off, I let my turrets swing round, I narrow the silhouette that he's got to shoot at. If he hits me now, the worst he's probably going to do is either disable a gun or disable the steering. I've got his full broadside. My stern turrets are round, he's on low health, and wallop. There you go. Four shells right into his citadel. And it didn't actually give me a citadel for it, but the four shells combined power was enough to take him down. And I've got out of there with a sliver of health but I went in with less health than he had when we started to engage. And those close quarter manoeuvres like that are the ones that I really love the German battleships for, especially at tiers 4, 5 and 6. They are built for brawling. So, now, there's myself and the, Muts and the Mutsuki versus the Auber and the Colorado. The enemy team has got a distinct advantage because their Colorado is almost full health. So to take the pressure off the Mutsuki, I start distracting the Colorado, firing a, th a few half broadsides at him, and swing round to angle my hull away from him while opening the distance. And at this point the team starts to say, take down the Auba, which, yeah. That's a valid point. He's almost dead. He's only a cruiser. If I can get a decent hit on him, I can take him out of the game. And that'll leave us with two ships to face the Colorado. So, as my reload comes up, I start swinging the ship around. I want to get all four turrets at the elbow. There we go. A staggered broadside. And he's out of the game with a nice citadel. That's my third kill. So now, I'm broadside onto that Colorado, and I pay for it. Never broadside against a ship that's a tier higher than you in the same class. Okay. That got... That was a nice battle. 108,000 damage. Three kills, a bunch of citadels. Defended the cap umpteen times and a nice bucket full of shots on target, plus a few fires. And a, a bucket full of secondary hits. Right, it's down to the Mutsuki now. We're a couple of minutes away from the end of the game. We've got a points lead. If the Mutsuki can stay alive, we win. That's all that matters. How's this going to end? Well, as the Bayern turns turtle, and sinks beneath the waves, Let's go and find out. What's the Mutsuki up to? Well, he seems to be taking advantage of spotting distance and just staying outside of a uh, spotting range and dropping torpedoes towards that Colorado. And Torpedo Pedo, the guy in the Mutsuki, would seem to be a dedicated destroyer player. His 
his name sort of gives it away, but he really knows how to use this little boat. Little ship, sorry. The one thing that had me worried was not the fact that at this point he looks like he's going to ram the island. It's what he did just after he launched these torpedoes. So, with the Colorado racing across the cap towards him, he throws a couple of spreads in his direction, overlapping in case he turns. And then he ducks behind the island to get out of, out of view range. There's about 30 seconds left in game. And I thought for a moment, oh no! He's going astern, he's going to reverse out into view range and get killed in the closing seconds of the game. But nope, he just didn't get it off full astern quick enough to stop the boat jinking backwards. He's hiding there, just waiting now for the clock to run down or for the points to rack up. And there it is. We've hit maximum points. We've won the game. And so we can move on to the second battle in the Bayern. This time, it's Bayern as top tier, which is an unusual occurrence. And it's in that epicenter game mode, which I'm not a great fan of. Um, I think it encourages YOLOing and stupid play. So I'm going to try and play it a little bit cagey. Initially I'm going to swing over to the west and then once I've advanced down the map a little bit and my range circle is starting to overlap the enemy fleet that will be coming in from the bottom of the capture areas then I'm going to swing back to the east and be able to um, full broadside or twin half broadside towards the enemy ships. Now there's going to be a lot of our fleet closer to the enemy ships than I am, so hopefully that will distract them enough that I'm not taking fire even though I'm broadside onto them. That's the theory for the tactic, and we'll see how well that works as we go across here. Now, you already know this is my last battle in the Bayern, and spoilers, yes, I get enough damage laid down that I get the experience from this to finish the research on the Nisenau. And I think you'll be surprised in the way that that experience comes through. It's not as intensive a battle as the previous one, although it does have its moments. So the enemy fleet is starting to appear all over the southern end of the capture area. We can see battleships and cruisers popping up with fair regularity. There's a lot of planes in the air and I've already asked the cruisers to keep the planes off the battleships, which is a request that they promptly ignored and just did what cruisers do when they think that they're battleships. But then up pops this Arizona with her distinctive twin masts. Um, so this is the non-upgraded hull. And I get a salvo out to her as I turn around to look at the southern end of the map to see what's happening. And lo and behold, there's just under 11,000 from several penetrating hits on that Arizona, which is good. That uh, might make him think about his charge round the flank might make him turn back, especially with a cruiser firing at him every two or three seconds, even though the cruiser's not actually hitting him. <laughs> there we are, that was a bit better. The Arizona's returned some fire. Oh, cheeky beggar, might have to shoot you again. So, turn sl the ship slightly towards him, have a look at where everybody else is, where their guns are pointing, and... Aha! That looks like Congo. Wonder if we can get a, a nice broadside into him. He's showing us his broadside. He's, he's starting to turn away just as I'm ready to fire. Try to compensate for it. Shots out. And we've got to wait about five or ten seconds to see what the result was. 
and looks like I missed completely. Oh, not so good. All right. By now, I've already turned the ship away from that Arizona, presenting my tail to him and a narrow um, angle for him to, to fire at. But with that Congo being obscured by the island and not the easiest of shots, as my AA opens up on the enemy's dive bombers returning to their carriers, I'm looking for another target. And at the moment, I can't find an attractive one. There's another Congo, he's broadside on, he's about to go behind the island, but we'll see what we can do with him. If he does go behind the island, it's less likely that he'll return fire at me, which makes him, you know, a fairly valid target. And at this point, suddenly the cruisers open up on the me. Ship is on fire. And I've got a fire running. Just gonna leave it to, to run for a bit. If no other damage comes in, I'll let it burn itself out. And then I spot the Alba, the enemy Alba. And he's turning broadside onto me, so I give him a few seconds to confirm his course. Get shots out. Full broadside. Check if there's any fire coming into me from that Congo. And beautiful. Citadels and a nice whopping 20,000 damage on that Alba. He's going to need a lot of brave pills to recover from that. And... Interesting, there's a Koenig over there broadside onto me. Just wait for the reload. How's that fire doing? Fire's almost out. Torpedoes so, to starboard. Let's try that Koenig. Torpedoes to starboard. Not convinced that we'll get anything worthwhile off the shot as it goes out. The torpedoes coming in off my starboard st uh, quarter they are not a threat. Just ignore them. Just about to beach himself. Oh, happy days. Stationary targets, always the best. So, forward turrets fire off, swinging the ship. And two nice penetrating hits. That gave me about 8,000 damage. I've started turning the ship and take his shots. And the stern turrets to target. Go on, swing round, guys. Waiting for those stern turrets coming up. There we are, full broadside, cross at him. And Enemy severely damaged. a nice big citadel doing a whopping 19,000 damage on him. Coincidentally, leaving him on 19,000 damage. So if Torpedoes I can astern. repeat that uh, again in my next broadside, Torpedoes I can take that Congo out of the game. And he's still going astern, which makes him a nice slow target. Out goes the broadside, as I swing around to change the angle, and uh, there we go. Two citadels, and down he goes. Beautiful. Meanwhile, there's a set of torpedo bombers coming in at me, as I'm taking fire from that enemy Koenig, I think it is, and suddenly there's a destroyer in front torpedoes of me. And, oh crap, he's got torpedoes in the water. The torpedo bombers have torpedoes dropped. There's 12 fish coming at me. I swing hard, and I was always going to take at least one of them, no matter which angle I got to. So, the, the destroyer's dropped his smoke screen. He's running, and he's out of it. I can desperately do with one of our ships to be spotting him and if you've watched, I think it was my Ognivoy video a few months ago, you'll know that my philosophy with smoke screens is get round the back of them and charge around guns and torpedoes blazing. The Bayern, of course, doesn't have torpedoes, so that's not going to happen. But I want to deny him his smoke screen, and he's moving quite rapidly, looking at the origin point of his shells. I'm not sure if he's sailing away from me. Or if he's sailing across the smoke screen at this angle, I've got a feeling he's actually circling. We 
which means he might be about ready to drop more torpedoes. I'm going to have to start turning in towards him, present the narrowest possible angle, and as he pops up, my secondaries are letting rip at him, and my forward battery is swinging round to get at him. Th throw the forward battery out, take half his remaining health off, trying to get the stern battery round, but of course I'm pointing too close towards him now. Got to rely on the secondaries as I turn away to get the, the stern um, turrets at him. And, yep. He's launched those torpedoes and broadside on. I have no chance of turning back in, bow on them. And even if I did, the spread would be too narrow. And he got me. But, I did just under 111,000 in that battle. A very short battle for me. And as we watch the Bayern sink gracefully beneath the waves, it's time to say bye-bye to her, because I know that that 111,000 damage, especially with some citadels in there and a bunch of um, secondary gun hits and aircraft downed, are going to be enough for me to unlock the Nizer now. So, Bayern, we've had some great battles together. We've had a lot of these close-range brawling battles. And realistically, this is probably the first time that you've been beaten in a close-range brawl. And of course, it was by one of those sneaky ocean rats in a destroyer throwing torpedoes at you and not taken down by guns. Gonna keep you in my port. We'll sail again, but for now, Bye bye, Bayern. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do?